Right, beginning the tour of 2624 Russet, the garage with a roof that matches the house, a little bit of moss on it. Uh, garage door opener, I presume the electricity is off and that's why it doesn't work. <laughs> and there's, uh, it's extra long, so there's plenty of storage space at the end. Here's the gate into the yard. Nice little covered patio, which is handy in the drizzly months of the year. And in the backyard, there's some boxes for growing veggies and a chicken coop. Not likely that would be happening under my watch. And an uh, ancient fire fireplace. Ooh, I hit my head. I have to put something on that so I, tall people don't get killed. Uh, the next door neighbor. Who oh, don't seem to be into the concepts of beauty and order. Uh, direct TV. Probably won't be using that on the roof. I'll come back and get a view of the roof on this side. So it's okay. It's can reveal how much more life I <clears throat> I would estimate at least five years and walking up the side of this would be the uh, kind of turned around this is the east side of the house that's why the Sun is shining so this would be the sort of back door this area right here is the kitchen and so we'll walk around the house. This is the front door. I'll take a shot of the, looks like we could, neighbors need some help with painting. Uh, the houses are, with the exception of the one across, a couple across the street are all pretty old from the, probably 1920 on morning. And now we're in the front yard. And we'll come down here and get a better shot of the house from the outside. chimney seems pretty good condition. Looks like it needs a little bit of attention. Yeah, it needs some attention, but I don't know how much a furnace requires. There's no fireplace. At least that's my memory, because I haven't been inside this one yet. And then here's the other side. Bedroom here. End of this one.